brought to you by XMWX Satellite Weather and by Lightspeed Aviation. XMWX Satellite Weather is as vital as vision. Never fly blind again when you add XMWX Satellite Weather to your onboard electronic suite today. Come see what the latest XMWX Satellite Weather has to offer at Sun and Fun booth C24 or visit us online at xmwxweather.com. Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for Avweb. Here at Sun and Fun 2010, XM Lance Air is showing two versions of its big evolution aircraft, the turbine version and also the new piston version, which is a big ambitious kit build project. It also has a big ambitious engine project from Lycoming called the IE2. This is a fully electronic engine. Here's Doug Meyer to tell us about it. We're in the home stretch of the development with the IE2 Piston Evo. Uh, it, it first appeared to the public at Oshkosh last year. We flew it uh, for several months back in Oregon, and then it was transferred to Williamsport, where Lycoming began an extensive flight test period of several months. The IE2 and is an electronically controlled engine. IE stands for Integrated Electronic Dual uh, Control Engine. Uh, dual is redundancy. There are two channels of computer uh, control that operate the engine and two channels of power supply for the engine. To, to add redundancy to it. The engine's fitted with a variety of sensors. They, they sense the incoming air temperature, the temperature of the air coming out of the turbos, uh, the outside air temperature, uh, the RPM, of course, the throttle position. Uh, just about every parameter that you find in a reciprocating engine is measured and sampled many times a second. Um, the engine has electronic fuel injectors, much as you'll find on any modern automobile at every cylinder. It also has a knock sensor on every cylinder that can detect detonation before it starts actually at, at what we call incipient detonation levels. It, it can tell that detonation that might be harmful is going to start. So it makes a, an adjustment to the engine on the fly to prevent that from happening. Um, it also makes adjustments on the engine based on what the pilot's asking the engine to do. Uh, in its final form it has an electronic prop control governor, it has an electronic wastegate controller. Uh, it's not a throttle by wire, that's why we don't call it a FADEC. It's not a full authority, in other words when you apply the throttle in the, uh, on, in the evolution you're actually moving a cable that moves a butterfly on the engine. But then the engine understands the position of that throttle and it starts a computation to decide how much fuel you need to put in it for maximum efficiency. For the pilot, it's, it's, there's, there's a couple things. It, it lowers the workload. It's a single lever control in its final form. And so you will select a percentage of power and then the engine will give you that power uh, in whatever form is required to accomplish it on that day with that temperature and uh, that altitude and so forth. Uh, um, the most apparent effect of all this, interestingly enough, comes when you start it up. Because it doesn't matter whether it's 100 degrees outside or 10 degrees outside. You literally push a button and it starts. The performance on the IE2 is, is uh, smooth. It is a 350 horsepower rated engine at present. Uh, it will probably have, most likely, an, a time limited increased horsepower rating for takeoff. Uh, I don't know what that number is yet. Uh, Lycoming is still working with the various uh, um, data that we collect and they're going to select a number. So it'll be somewhat higher than 350 horsepower for takeoff and then you'll, you'll, you'll reduce the power. Um, it uh, is a very strong engine, of course, turbocharged, intercooled. You get maximum power uh, at takeoff regardless of the outside air temperature. Uh, takeoff uh, manifold pressure is about 43 inches to 44 inches at this time. Takeoff uh, RPM is 2,500. The IE2 as a certified engine is slated for full certification in Q4 of 2010. That's uh, Lycoming, is, that's their plan and they're on, uh, they're on uh, timetable for that. 
One of the reasons that they chose to put it in the Lance Air first is because, of course, as an experimental aircraft builder, we can pretty much do what we want. We could put the engine on the airplane and we could fly it. Uh, in a, that way they got the engine on a high-performance, sophisticated airplane like the Evolution, and we were able to provide them with a lot of data that might take them a long time in the certified world to gather. So we have it now. We, we're going to be uh, taking orders. We are taking orders for piston-powered Evolutions right now. Our price on the engine is $115,000, and um, uh, we are uh, hoping to be able to supply engines to builders when they need their engine, which would be about six months from now. You can find out more at lanceair.com or lycoming.textron.com. I'm Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb. Thanks for watching. Changed your mind about who makes the world's quietest, most comfortable aviation headset? Then come by Lightspeed's booth and learn about our Zulu special and the expanded Trade Up program. And be sure to cast a vote for your favorite aviation charity. The top five will each receive no less than $10,000 from the Lightspeed Aviation Foundation. See us in booth D51 through D53.